Hello everyone and welcome to Theme Park Coast. Yes, this is Tom Day, Jane Austen and Adam Day, and we're here at Four Park Resort for Pockets Weekend. Enjoy. Okay. So to start off Apocalypse Weekend, we decided to go on the Alien Apocalypse. Yes, we're heading on to Swamp, one of the greatest rides here for a park, my favourite one in the whole of the UK and probably even the world. So Jane, are you excited to ride and yeah. see Apocalypse Weekend? Yeah, really good. So for Apocalypse Weekend, all you've got to do is go and get the app on your mobile phone or on any other Android or iOS device. Then you can head over into the areas and collect, scan, and scan your phone or card. And then, to finish off the day, you have to head over to Walking Dead to ride, ride it, and then you can go and collect your su survival I'm going to we're going to run to find fish now. Yeah, very popular ride. Running to find fish. So yes, oh, we'll see you near Swarm. Yes, so we're over now at Swarm Island, one of the greatest islands, I believe the best themed area at Fort Park. I've already said it's almost a stand of Disney, and yet it's just really good and really, it really fits the Apocalypse Weekend theme. So we're going to head to this now and see our whole thing. So yes, as it's one of my favourite rides in the UK, we're going to try it on my POV as well. Let's show it to you guys, there it goes. Yeah, that we didn't really know about Pocket this weekend until when we came here today. We found out just when we got here about it. So, are you excited for this amazing weekend? Yeah, really, I mean, it'd be good. Looking forward to it. Looks like it might be quite busy, but we'll see. This is like Friday, there's many events over here at Fort Park, including Friday nights, Pocket this weekend, and much more. So, this is what the morning we're heading over to most of them, and Swarm is only 15 minutes. Let's head on. But, Swarm! Swarm was wicked. What do you think of Swarm Jane? Yeah, really good. So we're now going to try heading on to Flying Fish and Swarm Storm Surge. So make sure you see us in there and enjoy. Then we're going to some big rides. See you. Make your way down the flying feet on a floor and brace yourselves. Your ride is about to begin. Fish. Yeah, I loved it and right now we're heading to Storm Surge. Yes, the Storm Surge is normally a really good ride, family ride especially, but it's really just really good ride. So we can head in there and we can well, have a big ride. It looks like the water's one. Yes, yeah, so let's see if the water's working. We'll try to do a POV on the ride as well to see you on the Storm of the Surge. <laughs> Yes, Storm Surge was awesome. What do you think of Storm Surge, Jane? Really good. And Storm Surge? Yeah, it was really good. I like when you went around. And then the water was working as well. So that's Daddy, Daddy, did you enjoy Storm Surge? 
Yeah, really good actually. Yeah, really. didn't have much of a queue, it's nice. So, uh, yeah, good ride. You did a good POV as well on the ride. And it's just honestly, I really think, as well as Hall Park is mainly a big area like for the teenagers and the bars, it's actually a really nice area for family as well. If you're a family, I recommend heading down here in weekdays, because in weekdays, no, not many teenagers and kids are at school, and you can have some good rides like flying, fish, storm, surge, uh, and much more. So, yeah, we're now going to head over to Death Nature and Edinburgh's land to get some of those big rides and head Nemesis, Colossus, and then finish off the day. Most stay tuned to that, the Walking Dead ride. Angry Birds, Angry Angry Angry. Here we enter Angry Birds Land to complete some of Death Nature and then we're going to head over towards Stealth. So, yes, we're heading on that day and you two are heading on where? Storm in the Teacup. So, yes, we're heading, they're heading on somewhere here. We're heading on Death Nature. I know where you'd rather go. The hell is Death Nature. No, you probably would rather just have a really well in it. <laughs> Later, and can you guess what Baker Blue did? Yes, Baker Blue did tidy away. Two times and new times. So I'm going to start by talking about Desolator and then we're going to try to win. So let's start from Desolator. Desolator was really good, but it did have, it, did, it wasn't as good as it used to be, because you used to not be able to hear it when it dropped, but now we've added new effects when they dropped. But yeah, it's not as good anymore. We should have paused the ride because it's not as good now and you can hear when it dropped. If you're not looking for such a thing, a general rush, if you want to go have a nice Desolator ride, that is a good ride for you. And now let's go on to Tide Wave. What? Tide Wave, how was it? Really good. So first time we went at the front, well, second time we went at the back, back's the wettest. I'll go on the back. I'll tell you oh, how drenched. I feel. So on squelch, it's like squelch, squelch, squelch on my feet. It's just water filled really in. And um, yeah, I'm so obsessed. Well, my my pictures are just, oh, make sure to check out our Facebook, Instagram and Twitter and even our website. Yes. So now, how are we going to draw off ourselves? Yes, we're really heading on to still we want to zero to 80 mile an hour in 2.3 seconds. How do I know that? Because we are there now. Oh, this down. Okay, yes, we have just completed stealth. It was really good, but yeah, we're gonna head later on and give you our full review on it after we've completed it two times. But yes, now we're gonna head on Rumble Rapids. See you on the ride. So yes, we're gonna head on to Rumble Rapids. I look forward to Robin Rapids, Jaden. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. And Adam. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. We're not even wet. We've got to be old. So it's not made much difference, but it's a good ride. Yeah, Jaden didn't really dry much after stealth. But like I said, we're going to give a final review after we actually finish the ride twice, because it's good when you get two times on the ride to actually Hello. see. So yeah, see you in Robin Rapids. <laughs> Thick. It was sort of like a nice one to put on. Yes, we're all on the ground. Three, 
so excited for this ride. Had been in it for ages, so it's really nice. I think, I don't even know, it in our vlogs. But yeah, it's really good to get on this ride. And it's nice, let's get a little bit wetter. It's amazing, Nick, you go down. Yeah, we're going to feel for the ride and just show you around. It's a really good ride, but unfortunately, you'll see me, most of you, uh, see me move to this ride. Let's do the ward for the cave. And yeah, we're just going to give it a go and see how wet we get. Enjoy. And it comes back today. Yes, we are now on the ride. We were just exiting the first lifter. Honestly, I think this ride is not as good as all the towers. The one at all the towers is so amazing. With, like all the big waves, I think it's really good. But this one, you can hardly get wet. Let's see how it goes. Please remain seated. Yeah, so Run Rapids was really cool, as you just saw by the video there. And Jane, that was really good, wasn't it? Yeah. But what do you have to do? We got wet again, so we're going to head on our favourite ride. Yes, this is Stealth. For our second time, we're going to give you a full review of the ride. See, well, we wouldn't say our favourite ride. My favourite yeah. ride's Swarm, and so it's his. Yeah, my other UK Swarm, and he's like, oh, look at that! It's my favourite um, speed shoot off. Amazing out that vlog as well, Rick and I. We'll show you next week when we be week after. And yeah, we'll just see you on Stealth, guys. See you then. Yes, one more was awesome. We're going to head again on the big ride, but Stealth looks like it's really long too. So we're going to head on there, we're going to have a ride now, and then we'll head on to Stealth later on. Hopefully, we're going to head on to a really good ride. I think we'll keep We're going to have the big five today, or even the big ten, as Jay does call it. Let's see. Yeah, oh, another big ride. Okay, yes, we did not to sign out apart from Colossus or Saw. We're going to head over to that area and see what we're going to do. And Jane, I know you really enjoy Run the Rapids, isn't it? Ah, good ride. And also, in the time we've just been thinking about what to do, Jane has completed Detonator. And I know you're happy with Detonator, Jaden. Well, I've done it before. But it's better now, isn't it, for you? Because you, you don't I mean, like. The first time's always scary. You don't you, Jane might be anybody else's surprise, so if it's a surprise, he doesn't like it. He likes to know where he's going and everything like that. But yeah. Hey God, that will turn to the 25th of May. Oh, we, go. we hope we can hang around there on that day or whatever nearby to go and head on that and see what it's like. Because I've actually never rode it. I never rode uh, Irish Emperor to get me out of here, but I love the series, I love the episode. Yeah, it's really good. So I hope we're going to ride that later on. But yeah, do you know, have you ever been an armed celebrity? No. For real. Yes, I mean, oh, I'll say you know, like 10 times on Tide to Wave as well. Three times on Tide Wave today, I am now poisoned. Yeah, but I'm so excited to ride, so of course. So we're going to decide what we're going to do, judging the queue times, and of course, yes, we're going to do Samurai as well. We don't, most of them, don't we, Jane, Samurai? It's normally a short queue, normally a nice ride, so yeah, see you there. So yes, there are lots of rides opening on 25th of May, including brand new Living Nightmare ride, which is also li li Living Nightmare Maze, which is opening the 25th of May, it's the third of June. It also makes it actually opening in May, I don't know if that's going to ruin the point of Fright Night or what's going to happen, but yeah, we're just going to see it, we're going to head down there as well in May, and just see what it's like. 
but I hope it doesn't ruin the final. I hope the final has a little special wit to it as it is in line and like that, and it's not in line. But yeah, it's gonna go on some rise that way just yet. I hope you enjoy that vlog when we go there. So yes, many rides are broken down as well. Some two of those rides are like 60 minute queues. So we're time to go on a little go chill now and head over to Tim's tugboat. Of course we will be doing some more big rides at the end of the day including walking dead to ride really like that first time as well. So we're going to go more rides to see what it's like. So we're going to head on to Tim's tugboat, Loggers, Loggers Leap I think it is. And we're going to show a bit more, I know, we're going to show you more of Loggers Leap and the construction that's going on as well as going on Lumber Jumper and Rocket Express. So see you over there in Canada Creek. So yes, this is now actually called Old Town. This is probably the quietest place over here in Fort Park. Five minutes, five minutes, five minutes. And of course, long as leap is zero, as it is shut. Let's head on to Timber Tug Boat. Three rides, and we're not going to be last one, unfortunately. But I'm going to show you a bit around Logger's uh, Logger's Leap. Okay, let's have a show you around Logger's Leap. That moment you can see that is where actually the fright night is. That's from number 15. Around there. Also, you can actually see that is where the old train tracks used to be for the for the zoo. And you can see even on ooh, the gates open. <laughs> And you can see even on, what is it called, uh, the Tim and Tug where you can still see where the track is. I should head through that game, but I'm not going to, I don't think. So yeah, I'm just going to show you above on where Tim was nimble at uh, long, long as you see. So yeah, that is going to turn the, the top right up there. And I'm just going to head round now to the floor area to show you a bit more. Bye. Okay, yes, we're just outside Saw now. We can see what we see of Locker's Leap over here. So yeah, still kept the cubes over here. It's kind of abandoned right now. We've still got the bears. I thought the first lived it all over there. And yeah, it's exactly as it used to be. But what is going to happen to it in the future? Is it going to be like somewhat or what is it going to be like? So yeah, we're just going to head over now to our next ride. So I'll see you soon. Remember, stay tuned for walking to the end. It's going to be awesome. As well as tired, we're excited now. Returning this summer, yes. It is oh, so amazing. We're hoping to head in there as well in the summertime. So we've got so many four part vlogs lined up for you guys. So yeah, let's go head over there in the summer. We're going to head over in May when the. Uh, New, uh, what is it called? The new, uh, I'm going to get me out of here, mate, is on as well as when the Living Nightmare Extreme maze opens. So, yeah, let's go head around here now and hopefully head on to Rush and around this area. See you on there. Good so, yes, even though it is. Freezing cold, and it is raining. 
we are going to attempt to go on to Tidal Wave. Oh yeah. And it's like my fourth on it, it's my first one because I stay outside today. And if you want to get this to look the office. Why not just stand on there? It's like this yeah. fourth part. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to head to Tidal Wave now. It's going to be no queue. It doesn't no. make you earlier. I wonder why. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. So anyway, yeah, we're just going to head to Tidal Wave now and see you after. Oh, it's actually quite busy in the car. Yeah, see you on it. Oh, yeah. It's going to be awesome. This is a F R E E Z I N T freezing. That ride was so cold. But now, just saying, looking at the walking dead queue, we are not going to ride it today. And also, I'm really nervous about it, so I'm going to wait till next time we come and hopefully I will comment it then. But I hope you all enjoyed the vlog apart from that bit there. And I totally have. Oh yeah, well, I'm getting absolutely drenched on the highway. And now, what do you think of the highway? Oh, it was really good. I loved the track, uh, but it was. So it was your fourth time on it, Adam. Yeah. And this is the first day 2018 I went on it, so I made the right And this is good weather to go on it. So yeah, we're now going to have a head over and say goodbye from all of us. We had a really good day today and I hope you all have too. And yeah, we're just going to go away now. And we're going to see you soon over at probably Chesterton. So yeah, see you soon. And if you want to check out our Chesterton Tide Vermont video, that is awesome. It's all like 400 views, nothing even for a couple of days. Really good. But anyway, thank you for watching and see you soon. Because this is the Park Coasting.